In this video, we're going to be talking about imparfait. Imparfait is another verb tense that is used in the past tense. Okay, there's two verb tenses that you use. There's passé composé. I've got another video for that. Uh, so if you want to refresh your course on that one, uh, go ahead and watch that video. The other tense is the imparfait, which we're going to talk about in this video right here. Uh, there's a number of different circumstances you use for imparfait, you use imparfait in, um, and we'll talk about that in just a minute, but right now we're just going to talk about the conjugation of imparfait. Right? It's pretty simple. You could, in order to conjugate a verb in the imparfait, you first conjugate the verb for new in the present tense. Now, all of, uh, usually uh, with verbs, that means you're ending with an ons, and so what you do after you conjugate it for new in the present tense, you drop the ons on the end of the verb to get your stem. And then once you've got your stem, you add your endings. For je, ais, tu, ais, il, elle, et non, ait, new, ions, vu, iez, and il and l plural, aient. Now the good thing for this verb is that there is only one irregular verb in imparfait, and that is the verb être. Être is the only one. There are no other verbs that are irregular in the imparfait. So for the stem of être, it is e with an accent aigu, uh, t, and then you add the same endings as you would for every other verb. So this makes the imparfait uh, pretty easy to conjugate, pretty easy to do. Like I said, être is the only irregular verb. Every other verb follows this pattern. So now that we've got how to conjugate the imparfait, let's talk about when you use it. Now our biggest problem with imparfait is knowing when to use it. it. Like I said, it is something that you use when you're talking about the past but like I said, you use passé composé also to describe things that happened in the past. So when do you use imparfait and when do you use passé composé? Well, I've got your list right here of conditions. When you use imparfait and when you use passé composé. Talking about things that occurred in the past. The key thing to remember is if you're not talking about something in the past, you're not going to use imparfait or passé composé. It's only if you're talking about things that happened in the past. So, times when you use imparfait, when you're talking about location, like saying we were in Greece. Okay, it's in the past, it's talking about location. Talking about age, when I was six years old. Talking about appearance, like in fairy tales, she was beautiful. Physical condition, I was tired. Your attitude, I didn't care about it. Emotions, I was happy, I was sad. Desires, he wanted to get the ball. Talking about time, it was, now this one could be specific time, like saying it was 3.30. Or you could say it was winter time, it was summertime. Talking about the weather, it was raining. Okay, a dark and stormy night. When you're talking about interrupted actions, when I was reading the paper when talking about continuous actions, this would be something like my family and I went every summer to the beach while I was growing up. And then repeated actions. They went there daily. Okay, something that happened over and over again in the past. So these are all the times when you're going to use am parfait. Now for using passé composé, these are the specific times. Something that happened one time. Right, a prime example would be, I was born. Only happened once, and it happened in the past. 
unless some of you are time travelers. Uh, it has a specific beginning and ending. So saying we were on vacation from March through July of 2016. And interrupting actions. Okay, this goes along our interrupting and interrupted actions. So an example would be, would be I was reading the paper when the car exploded. Okay, I was reading the paper, interrupted actions in Amparfait. When the car exploded is an interrupting action and will be written in passe composé. So hopefully this should clear up when you should be using which verb tenses in the past. In the past, okay, describing things in the past, we use an parfait or passé composé. But you need to make sure that you're following these guidelines as to which you're going to use, whether you're going to use an parfait or whether you're going to use passé composé. And it's very crucial for you in your um, in your speaking assessments as well as written assessments. You're going to need to have the right verb tense uh, when you're talking about things that happened in the past. So if you need to watch this video again, watch it as many times as you need in order to write down or understand what exactly you need to do for Amparfait. Hopefully you've taken notes. If you didn't take notes, uh, rewind it and take notes on these things because you, you're going to need to know these things. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me before, during, or after class. And I will see you in class.